This is a video on a hypothesis test for a mean. The question states, students are supposed to spend an average of two hours studying for every hour of lecture. Juan thinks students spend an average less than two hours. He surveys 36 students who averaged 1.8 hours with a standard deviation of 1.3 hours. What can be concluded with alpha equals 0 0.1? So let's first state our null hypothesis. So the null hypothesis is that the average or the population mean is two hours, because that's what Juan is trying to prove is incorrect. So in symbols, H naught is that mu is equal to two. Juan thinks the average is less than two hours, so H1 is that mu is less than two. So now let's write down the cast of characters. The average for the sample was 1.8 hours, so X bar equals 1.8. The standard deviation for this sample of 36 students was 1.3 hours. So the sample standard deviation, S, is 1.3. There were 36 students surveyed. So that's the sample size, N equals 36. So now we're ready to use our calculator. So here's the calculator. I want to do a t-test because I don't know the population standard deviation. So I go to stat and then tests, and then I scroll down one to t-test and hit enter. I am given statistics, so I do want stats. So I scroll down, mu naught, that's the null hypothesis value, mu equals two, so mu naught is two. Enter, x bar is 1.8. Enter. S is 1.3. Enter. N is 36. Enter. And H1 is mu is less than 2. So I want less than mu naught. And then I hit enter. And then I go down to calculate and hit enter again. So there's a test statistic. T is equal to negative 0.92 about. And the p-value is 0.18. So now let's go back to the PowerPoint. So the test statistic T was about equal to negative 0.92. And the p-value was about equal to 0 0.18. What I'm interested in is comparing the p-value with the level of significance alpha, 0.1. And notice that 0.18 is greater than 0.1. So the p-value is greater than the level of significance. So what I can say is that if it was true that mu was equal to 2, then there would be an 18% chance of conducting a study with the same sample size and coming up with a sample mean at or below 1.8. And 18% is a pretty big percent chance. So that means I fail to reject the null hypothesis. So let's state the conclusion. We can say that Juan fails to reject the null hypothesis. The data is inconclusive, and there is insufficient evidence to support the claim that students on average spend less than two hours studying per lecture hour. And I'm done with the problem.